Hello and welcome to the yoga video by Yoga Vidya. Nadine from Yoga Vidya Center North Sea will show you how to practice sun salutation. And today we will practice it quite slowly and I will mention several details so you'll get some detailed information about the body, what to take care of. And you can either watch the video or you can practice alongside the video. Coming to the front of your mat, bringing the heels together and the toes touching. The main weight is on your heels. All ten toes are touching the floor and there is weight also on the balls of your feet. Bringing gentle tension to your buttocks so there's length in your lower spine. Bringing the shoulder blades down and back. Hands, fingers, arms relaxed. Tucking the chin very gently. Imagining that the back of your head is going upwards. So there's a sensation of length. The crown of your head is reaching upwards. So you're standing in a very relaxed way. Then placing your palms together in front of your chest. Palms are touching, elbows going out to the sides. You can work on your flexibility in this position. Pushing your elbows outwards. Pushing the palms of the hands together. And then lowering your wrists a little further down. Then reaching up with your arms as far as possible. Bringing the palms to the front. Bringing the arms back and the shoulder blades together. The main weight is still on your heels. Ten toes touching the floor. Main weight on the heels. If you want to go back further, then you can tense your buttocks gently. Bringing the pubic bone to the front. Tucking the tailbone under, chest is open. In the traditional pose, you will have your arms bent, uh, your arms straight, but you can also have them gently bent. Then coming down, placing the hands so that the tips of your fingers, tips of your toes are in one line. So if you were to place a ruler, it would all be in one exact line. If you're not quite as flexible as Nadine, then you can bend your knees. Your belly is ideally on your thighs. If possible, bringing the entire palms of your hands onto the mat. If that's not possible, then you can have your fingertips on the floor. Then bring your right leg back as far back as possible so that the left knee is exactly on top of your ankle. Often some people are making the mistake of having the knee to walk to, towards the front, too much towards the front. So in this video it's a little difficult to see but because of the trousers, but actually the knee is exactly on top of your ankle. You can either keep the toes on the mat, like this, especially if you're practicing fast rounds of sun salutation, but actually it's also possible to place the top of your foot on the mat. Paying attention to your pelvis, pelvis sinking down towards the mat. 
If it's not possible to place the palms on the mat, you can place the fingertips on the mat. Knee is on top of the ankle. Then bringing both legs back. Body is in one straight line. Toes are touching. Heels are touching. If you like, you can bend the, the arms gently. So it's slightly harder, but often better for the elbows, for the joints. Then you can lower the knees onto the mat, bringing the chest to the floor and placing the forehead on the mat. This is also nice for the neck. Toes are touching, heels are touching. And the hips are floating, not touching the mat. And the shoulders is on, are on top of the hands or just like here, on top of the wrists. Just try out what's best for you there. And you're sliding forwards to Cobra, lowering your pelvis, lifting your head, bringing the shoulder blades down and back. There are several variations of the Cobra. We also have some videos here at Yoga Vidya about variations of the Cobra. In this case, toes and heels are touching. Nadine is practicing one way which is most suitable for most people. The elbows are bent. Middle fingers are pointing forward. And there is a certain degree of weight on the ball of your thumbs. You can also push into the mat and stretching up a little further. This is actually mm, the classic way of practicing the sun salutation, but there is a certain degree of tension in the lower back, so many people don't find that so comfortable. So then continuing to downward facing dog in during the sun salutation here the toes and the heels are still touching. If you want to place down practice downward facing dog in other instances you can keep the feet apart but here we'll keep them together shoulder blades together. You either are looking towards your toes, chest down, then bringing the foot forward, toes and fingertips are in one straight line again. If you find that difficult to bring the foot forward, actually Nadine is showing you one way where you can help the foot with your hand and bring the foot forward. So again one straight line, toes and fingertips. Then both legs forward, just like you've practiced before, either legs straight or legs gently bent. And then coming up, one particular gentle version for the back as you're bending the knees and then you're reaching up, back is straight, stretching the arms up and then lowering the arms down. This was one round of sun salutation and you can practice further rounds. Nadine and Sukadev wish you much joy and energy during your practice.